Um, I want to talk about you as a group first. What was the idea exactly? The idea was, um, I wouldn't have had the idea without having had a child, you know? Mm -hmm. And my concern for her was um, if she grows up to do music like she'll most likely do, if she chooses to operate in country, I would hope that it would be easy or easier or, mm -hmm. you know, better. What could I do? The question was, what could I do in any kind of way, small way, try to help? And, um, to help your daughter Mercy make it in the country if she wanted to. I mean, you know, I, the goal is to just try, because at least I can sleep at night if that, if I've done what I could do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then uh, Dave Cobb, you know, said you need to talk to Brandy about this, and I eventually did. And um, now it's it's like a, totally comfortable with this. Everybody drive the ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she came. To, were you the next participant in this? Yeah. Yeah, I was. It was like I was playing a show at Basement East in Nashville. Yeah. She came walking right up to me with a cocktail, and she's like, I want to start a band called The High Woman with you. And I was like, I love that name. Like, yeah. And I've been wanting to do something like this for a really long time. Like, yeah. let's talk about this more. And um, over the course of, you know, several months to a year, the idea unfolded and took shape, and we started talking about how to include other women and, and um, how to make it into less of a less of a band and more of a movement. Mm -hmm. That's a big idea. It's a big idea. It's kind of, is it a scary idea in some ways? I mean, when, you, when you're grabbing for something that big and you're, because I mean, you love music, that's easy. Yeah. This is bigger than that. I don't think it's scary when you're in a group. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It is. We all were scared when we started to hear the mixes because we were like, oh God, this is, this is gonna be something. I know. Yeah. I was like, I like my life the way that it is. <laughs> I want to do Why this, but started? I want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> well, you made a pretty big entrance yesterday, and I was like, whoa, this could actually be kind of big. Mm -hmm. We yeah. may have stories, um, you know, and perspectives that we want to get out there, and um, the, I think we're, we're representing a lot of folks that feel like they need to have their, well, the, share the same stories, and you know, yeah. the. A lot of the music on the radio tends to be um, love songs or needy songs or take it away, Brandy. Right. Well, <laughs> it is. It is very. It, it was electric yesterday. It was like they were waiting for us, yeah. and they wanted to hear what we had to say, yeah. which was scary because we were like, "I hope you like what we have to say." Yeah. But I also felt very confident, and you know what? We have so much to say um, as women, and and it's not all roses and, and glory, or guts and glory, but it's, it's definitely, uh, we have our families. There's just so many, there's a lot of hilari hilarious things with, that go along with it, so. When you say you want to start a movement, a movement to accomplish what? I think it's really um, the, the old Chinese proverb that says that, that women hold up half the sky. They also tell the story of half of the human race. And when that's not represented in the arts, then half of our stories aren't getting told to our, to our little girls. And I think that that's not a temporary or a menial problem. That's a really big problem. The arts help us define ourselves. And they definitely define our childhood. And so I think that while the movement concept is a little bit scary and we know we're gonna be open to criticism and we're not perfect women, that it's more than necessary for women and young girls that listen to rural country music, Americana music, and roots music. Mm -hmm. You're kind of get you're trying to you're trying to get this music on the radio. Well, yeah. Why not, right? I mean, there was a time when you could not say that and have anybody do anything other than roll their eyes and say good luck. But you know, why not? Let's do it. Let's try. You've it. all you've all tried to get on country radio. In well, effect. one of us is number one. Of us one. Is number one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's not easy, is it, for a woman? No, no. Um, but you know what? Like, no one gets a free pass on country radio. I mean, Luke Holmes, Tim McGraw, all those people have to do radio stuff too. So it's not just the women, but I mean, I do think there's maybe more pressure as a woman in radio to be like extra sweet and accommodating to these program directors, which mm -hmm. is kind of unfair, but. Um, I don't know, like I've been the most played woman on country radio the last two years and I don't know why 
me and not some other women, amazing women that are making Well, first music. of all, because you're very good and you work very hard. Thanks. But it, it can't be overstated how important and how significant it is that someone who is succeeding at this goal, someone that is doing well, decides to step aside, put herself aside, and join a group that says, no, it actually is a problem, though, that more women aren't doing well. And that is, like, I think, really noble thing and something that I admire you so much for. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's lonely, like, to be, I don't know, like, I want to celebrate my number one, obviously, and I'm very proud of it. I'm not trying to Do diminish, but I definitely, it, it's bittersweet because so many of my friends have to do all the same work I've done and can't get, like, a single spin. So, it, I mean, I'm, I, I'm hopeful that it's changing for the better. Um, but, yeah, joining this band in the midst of this song, Girl, like, on country radio was, it was... Um, Mystical. <laughs> That's mystical. Yeah. No, but this is like a very soul nourishing thing for me. Um, not that my own solo endeavor is not, but I, um, I definitely am, I feel very fortunate to be uh, in this band right at this time, even if it is chaos um, with our schedules. <laughs> even we're not all just one thing, you know. We've got a lot of colors that we like to um, send through the universe in our yeah. music. Like I know I do. I like to do a certain type of. Yeah, well, it's nice brain. to have other have other chapters, but yeah. I mean, you all have very busy other lives, which you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which you've kind of had to put aside for this. Which when you when you talked about it, it's a little scary. I mean, what happens if it what happens if this gets big? Mm, we're in the you present. Have to ask him. Yeah, <laughs> my schedule is a little more open. Well, I'm just I'm just record. Cinderella of yeah. the group. I'm the one who I'm like, when is midnight gonna strike? Yeah. Then what are we, the stepsisters? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the drunk kid. Like the wheel of the carriage. <laughs> yeah. I'm the no, it's definitely, <laughs> That that is the that is the hard part about all of this is is um, figuring out everyone's schedules. But I feel like, you know what? If, you guys, you guys just, uh, you can work it out. And <laughs> if it gets big, we hope to just honor it, honor the movement, honor the gift, and honor all the other women that we feel need their stories to be heard. It's already big to me because it's happened. Like, yeah. right. right. that's a big deal. What does it feel like to, to, I mean, you all have been on stage and you know what it's, but what does this feel like? This sitting here? The, no, the, I mean... Like last night? But yes. What is that? What is last actually doing it now feel like? For me, it was out of body. It was like, I've never been somewhere where people stood the whole time and were clapping and cheering. We're just so excited that we were all there. But it was so fun being with my friends. But it, it was also very... <laughs> I was very nervous. The audience was in it. The people were in it. Yeah. The musicians were in it. And so much, I think, and I keep, I always say this, that... that it's a, it's a relationship that that's symbiotic, I guess. You know, we're all reciprocating with one another and it makes it even bigger and suddenly you're doing this vague thing that's music mm -hmm. and it's alive for this moment yeah. and some sort of such like that. I like sharing the stage with these three because, you know, we all have our solo careers, which I've really only done, I mean, I've, I've done since I was 10. I've never been in a group setting on stage unless it's like an award show tribute or whatever so i really have loved um like looking to my left and my right and knowing that they've got me if anything yeah. happens mm -hmm. so i think that was probably like the most surprising thing yesterday it felt like very communal two last things one i gather there's a tattoo involved in being part of this yeah this group it's not a requirement it's not? You can be a high woman and not have a tattoo. tattoo. You don't have the tattoo. I don't have any tattoos. She got us necklaces. I wasn't there the day that I got to have necklaces made. <laughs> you have necklaces made? <laughs> My yeah. best friend is a jeweler and we had the high women necklaces made. I was like, I don't do tattoos. I can't do it. I got the tattoo. <laughs> you got the tattoo? <laughs> on my neck, yeah. The oh, back it's, of my neck. That's on the back of your neck. Yeah. I want to get a pineapple tattoo today. Really? Is it going like to have a straw or no? Um, and last, you have, you have a surprise guest for this set. Which I gather, I gather, she says you're responsible. I probably am. I wrote a lot of letters. Um, are we allowed to talk about it? So our special guest tonight. What is she wearing? I know is Dolly Parton. He said he just um, was, I was just her. in her trailer. Yeah. You're asking right. the wrong guy. I don't look at that stuff. <laughs> okay. She came. She did come in. The, the, I was the so shocked because she did come in in a uh, like a shawl. It was pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. She really wants it to be a secret. I'm really excited about it. The way we're going to introduce her is going to make me cry. Why? Yeah. 
because we're going to introduce her with um, a really powerful statement. We're all going to join in four-part harmony and say she's an eagle when she flies before we introduce Dolly. And uh, then we're going to bring her out and she's going to address Newport and it's going to be historic because, you know, since 1959, this festival has a legacy of just incredible history of civil rights and, and huge moments. Um, and the first female, all female headlining set at Newport on its 60th anniversary is going to be with the High Women and Dolly Parton and, and Judy Collins and some of our way pavers. It's going to be really a special moment. Mm -hmm. And what it's did you, what did taking you want years off what my did you life. Want, what did you want Dolly? I wanted Dolly because I feel like she has been the consummate and ultimate feminist, but beloved by all different kinds of people. All they see when they look at Dolly is her heart. That's all you see, you know? There's the clothes and the boobs and the outlandish statements and the, 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 the one-liners yeah. and the songs and, and all right. these things, but you know, you really see Dolly's heart right on her sleeve and I don't think that there is a bigger star or a more prominent woman to the guide kind. us and be our guiding light. Yeah. yeah. The also, kindest. you, whenever she asked me to be in the band, Brandy, and she, I was like, well, I don't really know what this means. She goes, well, we're working on getting to sing with Dolly at Newport. And I was like, I'm in. Mm -hmm. I'm done. That's yeah, what did that's, it? Yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> like, only I'm, I'm, I'm in. in. Luckily, yeah. you pulled it off. Yeah, <laughs> she's been very serious about it. She's been really nice to us this whole time. But when the Dolly thing happened, she's like, "Don't you screw this up for me? <laughs> if you guys ruin this for me, I'm I mean, <laughs> you don't want to mess with." I her. still, I'm, I'm like waiting with bated breath because until she walks on stage tonight, I still don't feel like. I believe it's, it's happening. happening. It's, it's happening. so unbelievable. So have you? It's some of it you've sang with her before, yeah. No. You haven't? Dude. Really? Uh -huh. I, I think you had. <laughs> I did at the Grammy tribute right. earlier this year. Oh, that's year. right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So she and I are old friends. Yeah, they're old friends. <laughs> <laughs> well.